Hi, I'm Barb from Priority Health, and I'm here today to give you some ideas that you can do at your workstation or your workplace that will keep you energized, burn some calories, and help you be healthy. So we know that we sit a lot, or most of us sit a lot at our desk, and we don't want you to be a sitting duck for heart disease or diabetes, some types of cancer, and even weight gain. Any time that you move your body, you're going to increase your metabolism, and that's going to help you burn more calories. So I'm going to give you some things to do that are very easy to do at your workplace or your workstation. Hi, I'm with Crystal. Hi, Crystal. You mentioned that you have some weights at home and you're going to bring them into work. Yes. Great thing to do to give you some energy and to build some muscle tone while you're at work so you awesome. can get it done. So I'm going to give awesome. you these five pound weights. They okay. don't have to be a lot of weight. And we're just going to do maybe some bicep curls. And you can do it standing okay. or you could even do it sitting. But yeah, and maybe just even one set of 10 or 12 to make sure that you breathe. Yes, and then we're going to do some shoulder presses too, so that we really define all the muscles in the arms. So just take the, the weights up and release down to your shoulders and breathe in and breathe out. That's going to give you energy throughout the day too, is awesome. just breathing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then let's do some tricep kickbacks. So bring your elbows in close to your waist and then just ease the weights back. So it's comfortable, but you feel like you're kind of working the back of your mm -hmm. arm. So great, in between calls or maybe when you get out of a break, you can come back and do a set or two of weights. Wow, nice. Very nice. nice. I love Good it. Good job. Hi, hey, Tim. Hi, I'm Barb, Barb from Hi, Priority Barb. Health. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. It looks like you sit a lot in the chair a lot and you're at work sitting a lot. I do. I sit here uh, most, uh, most of the day, every day. Okay. Well, let's get you standing up and okay. getting a little bit of circulation through your body. Okay. And also, really amazing thing happens when you stand, even if it's just a few minutes every hour, the fat and cholesterol, there's an active enzyme that's released and it allows you to have more energy. Oh, good. So we're gonna do that. And okay. you can just stand, maybe taking a phone call or something. Sure. But you can also do some calf raises. Calf raises. Yeah. And you can also do some squats. Just make sure that you can see your toes when you squat down. Yeah, so that you don't injure with your knees. Excellent. And then, because we sit a lot, we have some lower back pain. Uh -huh. Our hips are not moving the way they're sure. supposed to. They're, a, they're in a ball and socket. Yeah. So we're gonna take out an imaginary hula hoop. Okay. And we're just gonna hula hoop. Oh, you're very good. This is very good. I'm old. No, you're not. <laughs> you're actually young at heart. <laughs> and then maybe hula hoop the other way. <laughs> awesome, wonderful. And do you feel more energized? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Now I can work another 12 hours. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Sure, So we're in the engineering room and there's a lot of stress I understand and by mid-afternoon you're a little bit tired maybe a little lethargic so I'm going to give you some breathing techniques that will help you energize and reduce some stress and the best thing you can do is breathe through your nostrils so right now just breathe in through your nose and when you exhale let your jaw drop relax the jaw and exhale good do that again and as you breathe in through your nose you're going to elicit the relaxation response which is the parasympathetic nervous system and exhale Good, release your stress. Good, breathe in through your nose, fill all the way up, exhale, let it all go. Releasing, exhaling, good. So rather than going for that candy bar or that cup of coffee in the afternoon, just take three deep diaphragmic breaths. Hi, Jamie. Hi. I'm Barb from Priority Health, and I'm here to give you some ideas for stretching at your desk. Great. All right, so we're going to kind of scooch to the edge of our chair, and breathing is really important. So as you lace your fingers together and breathe in through your nose, you're going to stretch up, and then we're going to stretch out one side of the spine where those vertebrae you need to get kind of opened up, and then inhale back through the center and exhale to the other side. Good. Engage the core so you can come back up, and then lace your hands behind your head and lean back into your hands like you're catching some sun rays opening up your chest. Good. Inhale, come back to center and maybe just release your hands onto the side of the chair and do a little spinal twist. This is kind of like wringing out the dishcloth of your spine. Yeah, free, free adjustment, huh? And then taking over the other side, breathing in, growing your spine tall. And then as you come back to center, if you have pants on, maybe open up your legs a little bit, slide your hands down. And if you drop your head, you can allow for some fresh oxygen to get into those brain cells and then roll back up and again, nice for the spine. 
Good. Yeah. And then finally, if you want, you can do a little hand massage with these wonderful stress buddies or stress balls. It kind of also helps to move, um, massage the muscles as well as in the forearm. And then finally, make sure that you drink enough water throughout the day. And it's bonus because you're going to take more steps to the restroom. Cool. Hi, Brian. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Hold on one second, Luke. We'll, we'll put that deal through, thanks. So the sales department works a lot, um, both out in the field and at their desk. So Brian, I'm gonna recommend something that you can do in your office here, and that is a resist ball instead okay. of a chair. Okay. So you're on one right now, it helps to strengthen your core. Yes, it improves your posture. And if you move around a little bit, you can actually improve your balance. Awesome. The other thing too is if you just do little little jumps or bounces on that, you're going to pump the lymph system and that's going to release some toxins so that you can be healthy all year long. I feel good right now. Good. So try some of these things at your workplace. I promise you, you will feel happier and healthier. Be well.